You want to apply for your initials firearms identification card. It's an easy process to submit the application. Google New Jersey Forest, click on the first link, then you'll be redirected here. Next important piece of information you'll need is the ORI number. If you have a local police department, you'll want to get this specific ORI from them. If you don't have a local police department, then you'll need it from the NJSP, which is already linked right here. To find your local police department ORI number, simply Google your town with ORI. You'll see it right there. If you go into the firearms application registration process, they might offer additional information for the steps to do so. Once you retrieve your ORI number, click on the FAR's link. Application is now open. Submit the form. Enter your ORI. Validate the correct agency name. If this is your first time applying, click on the initial firearms purchase identification card, as well as permit to purchase a handgun. You want to do this both at the same time, otherwise you're going to have to go through this process twice, and it is arduous. You want to enter the amount of permits you want. Since they're cheap, just hit three or two. You want to enter your personal information, any additional name, and place of birth information as well. Enter your identification information, social security, driver license information, citizen status, and employment status. Enter your contact information, address and phone. Enter your 12 question questionnaire. Enter your two references. Depending on your township, the requirements for a reference varies. Check with your local police department if they could be relatives or not, or if they have other requirements. Then review the information you submitted. Make sure you have the right ORI number. Purpose of request is highlighted. Number of permits is there. Personal details is all accurate. Check spelling. That's important. Identification details. Contact details. Background details. Reference details. Submit the acknowledgement. Sometimes you'll have a third acknowledgement box confirming purchasing or pricing, when you pay or how you pay, and then hit submit. Check your email. You're going to get a submission confirmation of your application. Next things you'll want to do include bugging your references to submit their questionnaire. Also scheduling your fingerprinting. You should get email and details instructions on how to do that. Schedule that. Get that out of the way. Other updates include your references submitting their questionnaire, your background check status, as well as your application status. If you receive your approved application, contact your police department or state police. Let them know you received it. Ask when you can pick up your your permits and ID. They'll let you know when the best time to pick it up because it's not instant. They still have the printout paper. They'll also advise how you pay, whether it's cash, check, credit, money order. Make sure you ask so that you don't go there and have to leave like I did. That's it.